Good morning. We're here today to give a brief update on the Finance Committee activities for the first quarter of calendar 2023. My name is Susan White and I'm the chairperson for the Finance Committee of the Church and with me is Don Harris who is a committee member with me as well as a long-term congregational member of the church. To give you a, a brief financial update of where we're at and starting out the year, we are running at a deficit of about $65,000 for the first three months of the year, which is driven primarily by increased expenses in utilities and in insurance, and therefore our total expenses have a shortfall when you compare them against our total offerings for the year. And Don, would you give us some insights about your family and your history with the church? I'll go back with the Methodist Church in Springdale a long time, Susan. Um, Deborah and I got married in 1980 at what was the Mes Wesley Methodist Church, which is our Agape campus now. And I guess we moved over to the big church in 1990, maybe or so, somewhere around in there. And it's an integral part of our life. I was growing up, I, I was, you know, we recently lost dad, and I was telling at his service, I mean, we grew up, church wasn't optional. Our whole family went, and thank God we did, because we we have taken that seriously our entire life. We realize the blessing that comes with being in church and being part of church. And, man, I missed it so much when we went through COVID, and we couldn't worship in person because I don't know about you, but when I miss church on Sunday, I don't get the same juice. My week doesn't feel complete. I need that spiritual energy. I know my family needs that spiritual energy that you get. And you can feel the Lord working in church when you're there. It might be a certain hymn, or there might be something in the message that strikes resonance with you. And and so being active in church is something that's just really, really important to us, whether it's and you know, so many celebrations, whether it's funerals or weddings or whatever it is, it's what the church means to us. But I guess another big part of this church in particular is what we've, what we've done with missions over the years. This church has been very active. I remember a couple of years ago when Andrew said, we need a couple of new vans. And man, the church just bought two new vans. And like within two weeks, we raised the money. But you think about everything from Bread Alive to Daily Bread, what we've done with local elementary schools and with the Springdale Police Department, our youth programs, um, Cuba, Peru. I mean, there's so many things. I was looking at the bulletin last Sunday, and it's like just full of stuff. So many ways you can get involved, whether it's men's breakfast, get together, prayer breakfast, or or the UMW, there's just so many ways that you can be involved in the church. It brings such a blessing to you, a blessing that we need to keep our spirits high, to keep our faith high, and then to, to, to reach out into the community and make a difference. We've always done it. We can be proud of what we've done. We make a difference in Springdale, and, and you have to give to do that because we have, we have staff, we have facilities that have to be run, but it goes to good work, and that's why we're supposed to be, we're supposed to give and give, give of our heart. It should feel good to give, and uh, and I know that we have a history, long history of doing that at this church. Well, thank you for that. That's a very heartwarming message, and I, I hope it touches everyone there like it has touched me. And on behalf of the Finance Committee, we want to thank you for your generous contributions that we've received so far during this year. And we just ask that you prayerfully consider what you can do throughout the remainder of the year. Thank, thank you. you.